Hi everyone, it's Katerina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am the Narcoleptic Planner here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today I finally have a haul. I think I filmed my last haul in August. And this is in no way everything that I've received since that point. But I am about to start filming my Halloween spreads which I'm sorry, you're going to be seeing that basically at the end of November, beginning of December, because I'm just, we all know I'm behind, so we don't need to get into it. Um, but I kind of just collected some of my wintry slash Christmas uh, foil items, and then also I do have a decent amount of kits. There are a couple of mysteries in here that were for November, but by the time this goes up, I think you would have already seen them. So, I mean, for Pink Diamond Planner Co., she definitely sneaked that, or not sneaked it, but posted a picture of that, and then the same one for the Chris Press November Mystery Club, because I think that came out in the beginning of November. So, sorry, there was, a, there was randomly a cat hair over there. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in seeing more planner content, definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tap the bell so that you never miss an upload. But for this haul, I do have quite a lot, so I really don't know how long this is going to take me. Especially Crest Press, I have a lot. Planner Choco, I have like four different orders, I think. I have Murdoch Talks, Sticker Guru, and then the rest is just Pink Diamond Planner Co. So I only have five shops, but as you can see here, I have a lot. So I guess I will just get started with the top here, which is Pink Diamond Planner Co. All right, so first we are going to start with Pink Diamond Planner Co. I don't remember if I said that, honestly, in my last clip that I just filmed. I did realize that my AC started kicking in, so I do apologize. I did go turn it off. And also I shut down my husband's computer because the fan on that thing is just wild to me. So uh, I think the easiest thing to do, I do have the same foil bundle in multiple colors. So I think I'm just going to show, like, I'll just fan this out and show you all the foil colors that I have. But then only go through one actual foil bundle because the format is exactly the same. So I'll get started with all the foil bits first and then go into the kits next. So the first thing that I have, which I'm super excited to show because I've never shown this on my channel thus far. So this is my PR freebie from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So if you either use my code CAT15 to save, which I'll put on the screen here, or if you put that in the notes to seller, then you will receive my freebie. This one's in hollow, so it'll be a little bit harder to see over or under the studio lights, I should say. But basically, I just have a full box overlay here. I have Target Run, Nap, Bath, a little shopping bag icon, buy more stickers, and then switch time here, which I haven't even played the switch in like many, many weeks now, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, this is my freebie. I did ask her if she could update the scripts. I think I kept this full box um, just to make it a little bit more relevant to what I'm doing right now because this was definitely before I got super busy with grad school. So like, I, I don't know, I don't use my Switch much. I barely go to Target anymore, which is very sad. And I don't have time to take baths. I do still nap, so that's applicable. And I'm obviously still buying stickers, but anyway. Um, I'm not sure when she'll have time to update that, but you'll either get this version or the new version. So that is my freebie. Super excited to have this so I can show you on camera or in a YouTube video, I guess. So the next thing that I got were these Harry Potter movie stickers. So I think, I don't know if gold or silver, probably silver is easiest to see, but it just has all the movies here. And I did recently watch all of them with my husband because I think he said the last time he watched them, he watched it with the Korean subtitles, I wanna say. So we just watched them again just to refresh our memory. So I have these in gold, silver, and then I think this is like a sparkly hollow. I forget what the exact name of this one is. So I have those. And then I got a bunch 
when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch of quote boxes. So these ones are all the same, but I just got them in pink, red glitter or red sparkle, green sparkle, this really pretty winter green color, and then gold and silver. So, and I have the same thing for all the foil bundles. Uh, as well. So it just says Merry Christmas, Naughty is the new nice, Elf size, and then Joy to the World, which are super cute. Here you can see it the best. And then I did get some winter quotes, but only in three foil colors. So I got it in this really pretty blue because I thought it'd be nice for kind of more wintry and less Christmassy spreads. And then I just got it in gold and silver. So here it says, Baby, it's cold outside, cozy winter vibes chilling with my snowmies and dashing through the snow which i really love all of this like the little doodle and the fonts are really really cute so i have three of those i think i don't know which foil color i think silver would be the easiest to show but i think the red is absolutely stunning so i have it in red silver gold that really pretty winter green which i might even show i don't know which one this really pretty sparkly green and then pink because I do have some kind of rose gold spreads that I wanted to use so I thought maybe adding like a pinkier foil might be nice. So let me just pull this out of the cello here so that I can show you this way. Here, let me move all this, moving all this out of frame. Okay, should I zoom in? I hate zooming in sometimes because the more I zoom in, the less light comes through the background so it tends to look a little bit darker so that's why I don't know that's a fun fact I don't love zooming in that much <laughs> so here are the full boxes really cute and here are the scripts and then here I don't know if you can kind of see I probably just looks red but there is red glitter in here and my lens for my camera is not the best at looking super up close like it won't focus so I can't unfortunately zoom in any further there or like bring it closer because it won't it won't do it it's not it's not equipped to handle that fortunately so maybe one day I'll buy a new lens but they're very expensive so I'm working with just what I have now and then you have your bougie boxes here and then this is my absolute favorite page these little gingerbread cookies are adorable with the wreaths and the trees and then you do get a set of the little gingerbread headers there. So I love Pink Diamond Planner Co's foil bundles. They're so cute and like I said it's just the same format for the rest of them so I don't really want to go through each and every single one because they are the same. All right next I'll go into the kit. So I'll start with this one here. I did take these all out of the cello because I don't like opening cellos on camera. I think they're too loud <laughs> for me personally. Not that it's loud in other people's videos, but for some reason my camera just likes to emphasize like that crinkling sound. So this one is called, what is it called? Fa La La. I think I have another kit from Caress Press with the same name. So the first thing I have is the 15 millimeter in this really pretty red color. If it will focus, hopefully it is. Come on camera, you can do it. And then this was just the freebie that came with it. Really cute. I wish I had pajamas in this pattern because that's really adorable. And I guess I probably should, okay, I gotta zoom in. I don't want to, but I think I have to. And I hope it's not too shaky because whenever I zoom in, it also shakes and that's another reason why I just don't like zooming in. All right, so here are the full boxes. This is exclusive art, which is awesome and super cute and I wish my house looked this cozy but it kind of doesn't right now and I wish I had like this cute like little hot cocoa station and I'm terrible at wrapping gifts so that's another fun fact you're just learning all the facts about me today but I wish I were good at wrapping and had all this cute wrapping paper but I'm a gift bag kind of person so um, yeah, so you have your full boxes here. This is in the epic format and are you focused? There we go. Okay. And I do get it in glossy, but she also has premium matte paper. So if you like that, it's definitely an awesome choice, but I just personally like glossy paper. So I just always pick up my kits in that paper. 
And then you have your deco, which is so cute. And I really, really like these colors. They have kind of like a traditional vibe, but then there are also some lighter colors thrown in there, which I think is really cute. Then you have your half boxes. I was like, am I in frame? I always worry. Am I in frame? And then you have your glitter header page. And then you have two extra full boxes here. And then some kind of sidebar stuff. And then some checklists. Which I don't use these, but I've been cutting them into individual labels so that I can have more labels. I feel like it's been really cool so far. I don't know, I just felt like sharing that. It's not really like a life hack because it's, you know, it's not like ingenious or anything. But if you ever want more labels, you can always cut these down and make your own labels. And then you have your little things. I guess this is the solid page. And then this is the patterned page. And then you have your bottom washi, which is so cute. I love this. I... I'm iffy about cutting this bottom washi in half because I'm either going to lose this pattern or this pattern or like these reindeer might have like their legs cut off, which I don't, I don't love that idea. But then I also bought this and I want to use it and I think it would be really fun to pull in this red color, but I'm still debating on what I'm going to do. I might just leave it even though I never leave the entire bottom washi anymore. But for this, I might do it. I don't know. I'm on the fence, but... Right, that is my first kit. Exclusive art, like I said. Um, Pink Diamond Planner Co. I don't know when I'm going to get this video up, to be 100% honest. I don't normally edit my hauls that much, which is good. But she is having a Black Friday sale, so it is uh, on her Instagram, and then I also shared it on my Instagram. But yeah, you can definitely pick this kit up, I think. should be available, but that is the first one. The second one is called gingerbread which i love what she did with these full boxes i like that she pulled more of this red color in versus kind of like the blue or the green but i don't know i think this would be really cute with hold on with this like i'm thinking about this one i also kind of wish i purchased a navy christmas foil bundle because i feel like that would be look that would look cute what am i saying i was trying to say two different things i was it would look cute is what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, this is called Gingerbread. This is the freebie here. And I love this little, oh snap. <laughs> and then I do have the 15 millimeter. And then here are the full boxes. Super, super pretty. Again, I got this in the Epic Format in glossy paper. And I love Gingerbread because my husband and I I say this is like a tradition, but we've only done it for one year, and that was like in 2018, so I'm not really sure if we would call it a tradition, as we've only done it one time. But we're going to decorate our own gingerbread house this year, so I guess we just skipped 2019 and 2020. But we're going to decorate it this year, and I'm really excited to use this kit to mark that. So here are your full boxes, and then I like this... Um, color scheme too because like I said you have like the traditional red and green but then you also have this really nice blue in there as well so that's your deco page half boxes format is the same so I won't go into it in too much detail I really like these patterns too especially this one that one's my favorite I think and then you have your bottom washi and then your extra full box here and I really like this and then I kind of like to always just compare. I kind of wish this were red or green because I think it would like kind of pull out these colors a little bit more. But I think either way it will still be cute. So that is the gingerbread kit. If I could, I can never pick up all these pages afterwards. Like it's just a struggle. And my desk looks super messy afterwards. I'm trying to just get everything together. All right, so my final kit and final thing I have to haul for Pink Diamond Planner Co. is the November Mystery, which she already posted on her Instagram. So I don't think it's a spoiler, but if for some reason you still don't want to see it, uh, this is your warning. But I am obsessed with this mystery kit. Her mysteries are always exclusive art, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you sign up for them because I have not been disappointed this entire year. Like all of her mysteries are absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. 
the colors, the themes. I love it. So this is kind of like a Christmas market, I guess. I don't have, I don't think I have one of these near me, but I would love to go to one one day because that seems really cute. And also the food in here, like it looks delicious. So, and this is like my favorite out of all the full boxes. I think I just really like this scene with all like the little shops in there. And I just feel like it's really cute. And the foil, wait till we get into the foil. So here are the full boxes, same thing here. And again, like I just really like these like red and greens. It gets me into the spirit, I guess. I don't know, the holiday spirit. And then the same format here. And these extra full boxes are really cute. And her mystery kits come with like a million full boxes. So I feel like you could even do like a second spread with this, honestly. So such a good deal. And these patterns are really cute. And then you have your extra box here and then your bottom washi page. And then this is the 15 millimeter that goes along with it, which would be really nice to pull in that red color. And then you have your extra boxes here. These kids are so cute. Like I don't have any kids and I don't plan on having children anytime soon, but like this little girl and this little boy, like they're just, I don't know, they're just so adorable and I love it so much. And this girl's coat looks awesome, just saying. And they have these little tiny trees in the back, it's so cute. I love that so much. And then you do have your extra color with some more labels and another double box scene. So you get so many boxes in this mystery format. So it's definitely my favorite. And then we have the foil bundle, excuse me. And it's in this really, really pretty, I forget what it's called. I think it's called like a, I don't know, blue hollow cracked ice, something of that nature. But here is what it would look like together. There isn't really any like darker blues in this kit though. So, I mean, there are aspects of it in the full box that have some blue in it, like of this kind of shade of blue, but the, um, what am I saying? The format of it is really cute and the foil itself is really beautiful, but I'm not sure if I want to use this with this kit because I don't see much of this blue foil in here. So I wonder if I could pair this with another kit and then maybe pull in, I think I ordered another red foil bundle like the Christmas one. So I might pull this one in here instead. Not sure yet, but I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna save this foil bundle for like a more of a wintry kind of kit. So, but I'll flip through it anyway. And here you can kind of see, or at least I hope you can see the kind of like shift in the foil. It's really, really pretty, I love it. And then you have these really pretty snowflakes here. So that is the foil bundle that came with it. And this was the November mystery kit from Pink Diamond Planner Co. I am now going to switch gears and talk about another shop. All right, next I have Sticker Guru here. So I did pick up some Christmassy foil items here in three different foils but the first thing that I did get was Brandy's freebie and I 100% wanted this because of this shine dream smile which is a lyric from a BTS song and if you didn't know BTS is my absolute like all-time favorite musical artist or artist because there are seven of them but I'm obsessed with this and I need like a hundred more of these but it has just some little icons and then a happy Friday there in gold, but absolutely love this quote box. I need, like I said, a million more of them. So I won't get too much into detail for every single thing because I did just get them in all three foils. So the first thing that I have here are these Christmas tree date dots, which I'm like, I love these, but lately I haven't been using date covers. So I don't know why I keep buying date dots. I mean, they're absolutely adorable. And I wish that I used date covers more often. Like recently, the past, I don't know, a couple months, I haven't been doing it. But I think because these are so cute, I need to use date covers <laughs> for my either Christmas or wintry spreads because these are awesome. So I have them. Everything is in a sparkly green, a sparkly red, and then a sparkly gold. So here are the adorable Christmas tree date dots. I do have the headers, so I do have three of each because I wanted a full set 
of each one there. So you just have some more Christmas trees. And I have them, same thing, in red and then the sparkly gold. And then I do have some Christmas quotes here. So let me pull out these ones first. I wonder if it, I guess the red is easier to look at. So we have Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright, Tis the Season to be Jolly, and then Deck the Halls. Super, super cute. And then the last thing that I have, oops, they're stuck together, are these gift box frames. I just thought these would be cute just to mark, or not to mark, to put as full box overlays because they're fairly minimal, but they're really cute nonetheless. And I finished that a lot faster than I thought it would because it was a fairly small order. So that is everything I have from Sticker Guru. All right, I know I said I didn't have any Halloween stuff and this was all kind of holiday winter related things, but I found this in my order and I was like, I might as well just show it here because you may or may not see this in my upcoming Halloween spread. So the first thing I have here from Murdoch Talks is just this freebie that has some scripts on it. And then I just got this really small bat foil bundle. It doesn't come with any bougie boxes or anything. It just has one set of headers here in hollow and then the full box overlays and then the bottom washi here. But I'll show it to you. I'm trying to, trying to get myself organized over here. Gold is probably the best. I don't know if this is regular gold or light gold. I don't have anything that's readily open. Maybe I can compare it to the bottom washi. No, it looks like this is just her gold, so. I don't know if it's light gold or regular gold. It looks like light gold, but I could be wrong, so. Yeah, just the bat header overlays, the full box overlays, and then just the bottom washi there. I think I do have some bat bougie boxes from Rose Colored Days, but I'll have to check just to be sure. But this is really cute. Just wanted to pick these sheets up. So that's the only Halloween thing I have in here, I think. But again, don't quote me on it. I might just find some other random surprise. So next, I just have a bunch of bottom washi overlays. And I have them, let's see, in red, green, silver, gold and then hollow but they're the same for each of them so I'll just show it to you I think in the red because that will be easier to, easier to see excuse me so I just have this one just has some confetti and then the little lights sorry my cats are making noise in the background I doubt you can hear it but just in case if you do I'm sorry and then this one just has some kind of Christmassy patterns on there and yeah that's the same thing that I have I have it in green too if you want to see it in this one but that is everything that I got from Murdoch Talks. Okay, so next I have, I think, four massive $2 Tuesday orders from Planner Chaco. So I've sorted them all kind of by order and then by the foil color. So I'm not showing the same sticker sheets in different foils because they're the same. So the first thing I'll go over is I have like a million freebies here, which is awesome. And like she even gave me this whole like 15 millimeter strip freebie, which is really cool. So I guess since I'm holding this, I'll just go over this one. It is in hollow. Sorry if it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's just kind of like Christmassy patterns, kind of like the Murdoch Talks one. So that was a freebie, which was really cool. And then let's see. So the first one I have here in silver, just some snowflake deco. This one is, am I holding this? the right way or is it this way? This way. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make sense. This is in, I guess, a light gold because this one looks like a more traditional colored gold. But this one just has some cute little um, Christmassy deco pieces. I think they're generally all deco pieces. This one just has some push pins. I don't know what you call these. The word is escaping me. But this is in rose gold, I believe. And then some little binder clips here. And I have another of these um, silver snowflake deco pieces. And then, oops, here are just some more Christmassy deco pieces in gold. And then this one is kind of like more of a fall one. So it's like a leaf pumpkin, some apples here. This is in rose gold. 
And then these ones are just kind of more floral pieces, as you can see here. So those are all my freebies. I don't generally tend to use little deco pieces, so I'll have to see if I actually pull these in or if I just give these away. But either way, those are really cute. Um, the first thing I'm going to go into are just kind of my random foiled sheets. Excuse me, there's like something sticking off on the side there. That was weird. But these are kind of random things that I just picked up by themselves that don't kind of correspond to other foil colors. So the first one I got was just this kind of like a winter full box uh, quote overlay. So this one says, meet me under the mistletoe. Winter blessings. If snowflakes were kisses, I'd send you a blizzard and then warm tea, good books, fuzzy socks. So this is in hollow. I just got this one uh, out of all my orders. I only got one foiled item for that one. So I just wanted to show this one separately. So there's that. And then I did get two Thanksgiving sheets. So I have this one. I think I got it in light gold and then in just in silver. So I guess it's easier. I always try to find the easiest foil for you to see because of my studio lights. But it says, give thanks in all things. Great, uh, thankful, grateful, and blessed. Hey there, pumpkin and cedar, then pumpkin pie. So I just have those two. And then she was doing this firework uh, full box overlay for New Year's, but I thought I would grab these two in red and blue for 4th of July. Just, I thought they would just, you know, go well. So those are my other random two holiday-ish kind of sheets. So I guess the first thing I will go into, I literally have four stacks on my desk. Um, I guess I'll choose this one then. So I guess let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'll show it what's the easiest foil color. I have it in this really pretty blue, silver, and then light gold, and then hollow. So definitely not hollow. It's not going to be the one. Um, wait, why do I have just a random? Oh, here, I'm like, where, why is there just a random thing? For some reason in silver, I didn't pick up the 15 millimeter strip. I have no idea why, but I tend to just forget like random things when I'm ordering in bulk, I guess. I don't know. Just, I forget to select the foil colors. So I don't know. Would blue be easiest to see? I guess I'll go over the blue, but I have everything in each foil except for the 15 millimeter in silver for some reason. But like I said, I just have it in hollow, light gold, and then silver. So I'll just toss that over there. So I just have, I keep holding everything upside down today. So I have this really pretty 15 millimeter snowflake overlay. And then for the full box overlays, maybe I should maybe I should just zoom back in. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I have that um, are these quotes. So it says, "I'm having a meltdown, winter kisses, snowflake wishes, hot cocoa." It says twenty five cents, and then "tis the season to be freezing." <laughs> so just have that. I guess you can kind of see it better right here. And then I have just some snowflake overlays in just various patterns. And then I have four of the bougie boxes. And then I just have the header overlays. So that's kind of what I got for the first order there. Let's see, I will go into this one next. This one's a little bit smaller if I could if I could pick it up, that would be lovely. So this one, I have everything in the blue, the silver, gold, and this really pretty green. So I guess I'll show you the green. And this one, I just got in regular gold. I just alternated between light gold and regular gold for some reason, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I like them both. So the first thing I have is the 15 millimeter in this really, really pretty green. And then I did get two of these header overlays just because they have different patterns. So I wanted a full set of each one. And then I do have these really pretty bougie boxes. And I think that's it for that one. That was a, yep, that was a fairly small one. So super cute. I'm going through this a lot faster than I thought I would. So that's good. All right. So the next one, this one is like, 
Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. This one was quite a large order. So I have everything in gold, silver, and then this really pretty green again. So I guess for this one, I'll go into the gold. Or no, the silver, that's what I meant to say. What am I saying? All right, hold on. There is a decent amount, so here we go. I guess I'll start with the 15 millimeters because they are adorable. So the first one, now I need to zoom back in. Goodness, is that good? Okay, so the first one I have is this really, really cute gingerbread one since I do have that gingerbread kit. So love that. And then this one just kind of has little deco bits. So a tree, um, what do you call these? A stocking, right? <laughs> I was like, it's not a sock. <laughs> Um, a little Santa present, and then a reindeer. So that's really cute. And then I got a bunch of quotes and full box overlays. So this one says, cookies for Santa, cookies, coffee, and Christmas cheer. Stressed is just dessert spelled backwards. And then it says, Mrs. Claus and Co. Christmas cookies baked fresh daily from the North Pole. So that's really cute. And then I just have these little gingerbread full box overlays. And then this is just kind of a different style. And then we do have the bougie boxes of the little gingerbread and there's some candy canes and Christmas trees. And then I do just have that same thing um, for the header overlays. And then we have some more quotes here. So it says, there's no place like home for the holidays. My first Christmas, which I'm not going to use this one. This one says the year of the lockdown, 2021, Merry Christmas. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. This one says, oh, holy night, proud member of the naughty list. <laughs> My cats would be on that one for sure because they just love climbing into the Christmas tree and just knocking everything off of it for some reason. So always a fun time each year. Um, this one says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and then good tidings of comfort and joy. And this one I already went through, I think, maybe. This one I feel like it was new, but it says, maybe under the mistletoe, winter blessings. And then I think these two I did show on that hollow um, full box overlay quote sheet that I showed in the beginning. And then I just have some other headers and then just some more overlays here, just different kind of styles of them here. And then last but not least, we have the bougie boxes. So I'm not done yet. I thought I was done, but I'm not. The last thing I have are kind of like my New Year's sheets. So let me grab this one. I made a mistake here and I purchased hollow and then like a sparkly hollow and then a gold instead of um, instead of silver. So I'm not really sure why, but I don't know if I'll go back and buy it in silver. I feel like it's fine if I just have like, you know, like these three foils, it's, it's cool. So I guess I will show, I guess the gold one because it's, um, it's like a gold glitter or sparkly, whatever. So the first thing I have is the 15 millimeter here, which is cute. And then I got some header overlays. I don't think you'll be able to tell that it has little bits of glitter in it because it's so tiny, but just trust me when I say it's there. <laughs> and then we have some kind of like confetti or streamer full box overlays. And then this is just a different style. Here are the bougie boxes. And then here is that firework pattern I showed earlier. Here, I don't know if you'll be able to kind of see it. I don't know, it might be too small. And I don't know if I can zoom in further where you can see it. No, nope, cause now it's not gonna focus. Maybe here you'll be able to see it a little bit. I don't know, either way, it's there. <laughs> All right, let's get some more light back in here. So it says, bring it on 2022. Happy New Year, y'all. Let's celebrate and cheers to the new year. This one says, New Year wishes, Midnight Kisses, best year ever. Happy New Year and the best is yet to come. 
and then this is just kind of more of a general new year overlay one so i thought i could use this from year to year aside from this um, box which i will be using next year so yeah that is i'll just bring it over here as a reference this this is my order or four orders from planner choco okay you've made it to the end of the haul almost the last shop i have is caress press so i have four kits i think and like a hundred foil bundles basically but i'm not going to go through each and every single one of them like i said because they're essentially the same so i have three freebies here i don't know what order this came in i just kind of literally combined all of them and i was like you know i'm just going to show them all at the beginning so we have this one here in gold i think i have these already too to be honest so i might give these away because I don't know, maybe I'll keep them. I do love some free full box overlay, so that's cool. And then this last one here in gold. So I I don't know if anyone else does this, but I have this really terrible habit of buying things and then forgetting that I bought them and then buying them again because I just, I don't know, I just forget. So I have like a million foil bundles, but I bought them twice basically because like I said, I forgot that I already purchased them and this happens to me quite a lot and my husband laughs at me for it because he's like, you should just look at what, you're, what you have before you start buying stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I probably should dude, but I don't. <laughs> so I did pull this one out because this is the uh, Jingle Bells foil bundle. Hold on, let me, let me get myself organized here. So I do have it in, I have two in silver. I have one in sparkly hollow, just one for some reason. I have two in rose gold because like I said, I bought these essentially in twos almost and then one, or sorry, two in gold. So instead of flipping through each and every one of them, I don't know why I only have one in sparkly hollow, but that's just how it ended up. So I'll flip through the silver one. Let me put that aside. All right, so here are the full box overlays. Really cute. Um, I've shown this page many times, but this is just a script page, the bougie boxes, and then the bottom washi and header overlays, which is really, really cute. I can't wait to use these. And I can just keep using these from year to year because I have like a hundred of them at this point. So that was the Jingle Bells foil bundle from Cress Press. I do have these snowflake ones, so I have gold, sparkly hollow, and then silver. This exact foil bundle came with the uh, November mystery kit, so I'm going to flip through it when I flip through that kit instead of flipping through it twice, so I'm just going to put all that loveliness to the side. So the first thing that I have in terms of kits, I will go over the um, November mystery last in case for some reason you don't want to see that. So the first one I have is, is it focusing? I think so. All right, this is the Christmas Magic Kit and I really just loved this because, I mean, it's Disney and anything Disney really just gets me. But Disney at Christmas time is my favorite. Halloween, Halloween and Christmas are probably my favorites. I don't know if I could choose between the two, but when I saw this art, I was like, I need to have this. It's so cute and I wish that I could be at Disney for Christmas, but I'm not, so. I'll just pretend that I am in my planner. So I do have the 15 millimeter here. And then this was the freebie. So it has a tall box and then just this extra box here, which I absolutely love. And I think I have most of these kits in the essentials format, but I think one I do get in the full format. So I'll try to see where that one is and then just flip through that extra page there. Maybe I'll zoom in just a little bit. So here are your full boxes. These magic bands are really cute. And I just love this whole scene. The monorail, all that good stuff. And I do get my kits in glossy if you're new to the channel, but if you've been around for a while, then I think you know that I get basically everything in glossy because it's my favorite. Then you have your deco page. I'm like, am I still in frame? love these colors i'm so glad that i have so many um sorry there was like a cat hair in my eye 
Even though my cats don't come in this office, but somehow they just managed to, to sneak in. Um, but anyway, I was saying I really love these red and green colors here. Then you have your solid label page, your patterned label page, bottom washi. I love this shirt though. Can I get this shirt in real life, please? And oh, I like to compare the 15 millimeter here. So that's really cute. And then your glitter header page. So that is called Christmas Magic. I think I said that, but if I didn't, that's the name of it. And this one was in the essentials format. All right, let's see what I have next. I'll go into this kit next if I could pick it up. Okay, this one is called also Falala. -la. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I picked up this tall box because a tall box in the sidebar is like my new favorite thing. And I thought it would be good to add the rose gold foil bundle. Let me see if I can pull it out here. So I thought this would go really well together. I don't know if you can kind of see it because the cello is reflecting, but I normally don't have anything rose gold or like a lot of rose gold. So I purchased that just for this because I thought it'd be cute. And these were the freebie boxes. So you just have like a sweater and some slippers, an orange cat, and then just a present here. So let me move this out of the way. Zoom it a little bit. Okay, and then you have the 15 millimeter, which I'll show with the bottom washi page. And then here are your full boxes. This looks like very realistic. And I wish that my house looked this festive and cozy. And I think I already said that before, but it doesn't. <laughs> maybe one day when I buy a house and I'll get more like into decorating because maybe I can like do kind of, you know, this little scene here. I don't know if we'll have a fireplace. Probably not because it's Texas, but um, I don't know. That's really cute. And then having like all this like decorations near the stairs and the front door. And I'm like, this is just really awesome. Oops. And then here's your deco page. And then this kind of like functional page with your work labels. And then your solid boxes here. I really like these colors too. Your patterns. And then your bottom washi. So this is the 15 millimeter here. I really like this doormat. That's really cute. And then your glitter header page. So that is Fa La La. Why can I never pick these pages back up? It's like an eternal struggle. But that is this kit. The next kit is, I think this is the one that's in the full kit because I was like, maybe I'll try one adding uh, one extra page that has some little things and whatnot in there. So everything is upside down. So the first thing, I think this was the freebie. And then I added on a ton of these little boxes. And what I love about Crest Press is that you can just individually buy these instead of buying like a full sheet or even like a half sheet because sometimes I don't use the other ones. So it's nice that you can pick up your own individual ones and then you don't have to waste any of them, which is really cool. But I'm sure that's a lot of little boxes floating around. But anyway, this is the first one that I ordered. And then I just picked up these two just because I thought they were really cute. And then here's the 15 millimeter, which I'll show at the end. So I just really liked what she did with this art. This art is stunning. And my favorite thing is this little 2022 thing here. So I really liked that. And then this girl is fabulous. And so is this one. They're both fabulous. So then you have your deco page your kind of functional page. And then these patterns are really cool. The solid um, labels here. Ah, okay, and then I just wanted to see if I would actually use more of these. I don't tend to use little things, but sometimes when I'm using the essentials format, I find that I could use an extra label here, here and there. So I thought maybe adding this. And then we'll see if I like this. If not, I'll just go back down to the other essential size. But 
and then you have your extra box here and then this is the 15 millimeter i think she offered this in the pink as well but i really liked the blue with this so that's why i picked that one up and then last but not least you do have your glitter header page so this one was i think the full kit i want to say it's called but this is called cheers i'm terrible at telling you what the kit is called <laughs> But yeah, so this one is Cheers. And then the last one that I have is the November Mystery. So if you don't want to see that for any reason, although I'm pretty sure this is in her shop. I'm not, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on many things that I say, really. <laughs> I'm like, I think this is how it is, but I'm not sure. So um, anyway, if you don't want to see it, thank you so much for stopping by and for supporting my channel and watching this extremely long haul, or at least I think it's going to be extremely long. But anyway, I'll go over, um, the foil bundle first. So this is the snowflake foil bundle. You just have your full box overlays, the script page, bougie boxes, and then the bottom washi with all the pretty snowflakes. So love that. All right, so that's good. And here is the November mystery. It's called Snowed In, which is really cute. So here are the full boxes. I thought this was really cozy and cool. I mean, I don't think my windows are ever gonna, like if I look out my window, I'm, I'm not gonna see that. But I mean, it's still really, really cute nonetheless and feels super cozy and I really like the colors of it. So you have your deco page and you have little board games here, which I thought was cute. And then like a little chicken soup, some cute pajamas. And then, I don't know, just other cute deco pieces here. I don't know if I got this one. This one is probably in the essentials format, I'm going to assume. And then this page, your solid boxes, pattern boxes, 15 millimeter or sorry, your washi page, and then, and then I bring in the 15 millimeter. And I really like these board games. I thought they were cute. And then your uh, glitter header page. And then because it's a mystery, it does come with some tall boxes and then some extra boxes here, which is really nice. So that is the November mystery called Snowed In. If I could pick up this page, that would be, that would be lovely. But yeah, that is... I'm not even going to bring it into frame again. I'll show it at the end, but that is everything I got from Caress Press. All right, we are at the end of this haul. Thank you so much for watching it in the first place, but if you made it to the end, thank you. You are amazing. I just wanted to say that. I also wanted to say that I'm super, super, super thankful and eternally grateful for all of your support here on YouTube, but also on Instagram. And I just want to say thank you for sticking by me, even though I haven't been the most consistent, really. And it is an eternal struggle, or at least it will be a struggle until basically this time next year when I finish my MBA. But <laughs> nevertheless, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more planning content. I am actually, right after this, going to film... A wax melt haul so I did subscribe to the whimsical plans or no oh, that's her sticker shop excuse me the wax whimsy um November mystery wax melt sub whatever it is called but I wanted to put that in a different video in case you're not interested in wax melt so stay tuned for that if you are and I will see you in another video soon take care everyone bye